Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the ATP have given us an update on what the Asian swing is going to look like this year. It's a bit of an abbreviated Asian swing. Of course, we haven't had the Asian swing for a couple of uh, years now because of COVID and a lot of tournaments being cancelled, but they pulled out of China, so all the China tournaments are off the table. Let's go have a look at the schedule and the renewed schedule for this year's Asian swing. So this is what the Asian swing is going to look like this year, or at least the time between September and October. Starting after the Davis Cup group stage, we've got a tournament in Mets, which is a normal tournament that we've had before. And San Diego is actually getting a tournament this year, an indoor hardcore tournament. So that's going to be interesting, both ATP 250 events. Following that, we've got a tournament in Tel Aviv, another hardcore tournament, also the Sofia Open, which is an indoor hardcore event that we've seen before. And also the Korea Open, which is an outdoor hardcore event. So two new tournaments on the ATP, both ATP 250 events. Starting in October, we've got two ATP 500 events. Of course, the Japan Open, which has always been an ATP 500 event. But because we don't have the China Open, the Astana Open's been upgraded to an ATP 500 event. So a Kazakhstani event as part of the Asian swing for this year. And then following the Asian swing there, we go back to Europe. We have tournaments in Italy and Spain, which are both indoor hardcore events, both new to the ATP this year. Year. And then the ATP continue their indoor hardcourt events with the European Open, Stockholm Open, and are now a new tournament in Italy again on outdoor hardcourts in Naples. So another ATP 250 event that has been given to the ATP. And you'll notice some big tournaments not in there. We've got obviously Chengdu, Zuha, which are two smaller tournaments as part of the Asian Swing, both in China. The Beijing Open, as I mentioned, but the big gap is the Shanghai Masters. We don't have it again this year. This is the third year in a row that this tournament has not been played. An ATP 1000 event, and there's no replacement for it. So 1000 points go out the window again this year, but no tournaments in China due to restrictions from COVID. So there you have it. That is the abbreviated Asian swing. It's definitely shortened this year, of course, taking four tournaments out of China, as well as the big one in Shanghai, which is kind of like the pinnacle of the ATP tournament in Asia. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you miss the Asian swing? I miss it. I, I miss Shanghai. I miss watching all those lead-in tournaments. Of course, we had the Tokyo Olympics last year, which was kind of like a little bit of an Asian swing, but let me know down in the comments below. Are you missing the Asian swing or are you kind of okay with this schedule?